July 30th, 2021, 11.45 p.m. Be right back. Alright, I'm gonna head into the other room now. You two can feel free to stay up a bit later if you want, but the devices need a long enough sleep cycle to complete a scan. Oh, that them over there? Yep. And worst comes to worst, I just hack in and pull the plug, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, you two. Oh, and please come bother me if you can't get them to work. Yeah, will do. Good night. Let's hope you're more than just a copy, huh? Ready? Ready. The doppelganger was a local serial killer who mysteriously disappeared from the public eye almost 27 years ago. They were known for using latex prosthetics, makeup, and other deception tools to become their target before killing them. Although known to have murdered at least eight people, their identity, age, race, and gender, as well as their whereabouts, are unknown to this day. Five months ago, signs of their activity were rumored to have returned to the city after the deaths of Reed Jetta and Scarlet Mazia. Last night around 9 p.m., local law enforcement oversaw the arrest of 21-year-old Garnet Fisk, the prime suspect for an ongoing series of murders, and believed to be a copycat of the infamous murderer. Officer Flynn Shattuck gave a statement this morning. Fisk was completely cooperative at first after reviewing the search warrant until my detectives found several drawers filled with fake driver's licenses and other tools for forgery, which wound up matching various residues found at the murder scene of Scarlet Mazia, at which point he drew a concealed firearm on Officer Kalenia, holding him hostage for several minutes before attempting escape. Uh, thankfully, Officer Kalenia was unharmed and Fisk wasn't able to get past the perimeter we'd set up. He surrendered his weapon and was immediately detained with no casualties. After continued investigation of his home, we found large quantities of latex and makeup, leading us to suspect that Fisk is indeed a copycat of the doppelganger murderer of 94, and is responsible for speculation of their return. Uh, obviously, this will require further investigation, but at this time we are comfortable saying that the rumored copycat murderer is in police custody and is no longer a threat to the public. Just 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fibonacci, Mark wants to be you like your name. Yeah. Yeah. No, not that. Yeah. Uh, uh, so like you're not. Oh, sick of me. Well, I love the name. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I'll try and be as concise as possible. But as most of you have probably heard already, Elise was able to break into my computer on Monday. Nice. You seem shockingly okay about that. <laughs> well, I probably deserved it. Um, <laughs> but you've probably noticed the big piece of hardware in the middle of our lab. Uh, it's called the Evaluating and Classifying Human Oculometer System, or ECHO for short. It's, um, well, I, I can give you a bunch of papers if you really want to learn about it, but essentially it's going to be the home of an artificial neural network. Wait, so is this a different research project? Yeah, unfucking believable, right? He's been hoarding all the good stuff while the rest of us have basically been writing overly complex subroutines. He's been telling us the machine's broken. It sounds like you've been torturing these poor folks. Uh-huh, he's kept it a secret this whole time. I, I already told my team, but I, and I didn't want to say anything until I knew it was ready. It turns out that it is ready, uh, but more importantly, a deal is a deal. Um, so Echo is essentially meant to be a machine mind interface, which in this case is really just a shell that's designed to run a bunch of software that implements machine learning. Things like statistical classification, cluster analysis, evolution. It's an AI. <laughs> well, not really. It sounds more like a linear intelligence. You know, like the basic kind of assistant robot you can find in any smartphone. Yeah, it's slightly more sophisticated than that. He's being humble. This has the possibility of being the first human intelligent machine. <laughs> like I said, hoarding all the good stuff. <laughs> Holy shit, are you serious? No, uh, I mean, not really. Echo's main purpose is, uh, so a, a subject scans their brain over a seven hour sleep cycle and uploads the data into Echo. During this process, the ANN takes various neuroimaging profiles of the cerebral hemispheres. Taking a snapshot of the subject's brain. An evolving snapshot, but this is where it gets interesting. After the scans, Echo uses psychoanalytic techniques in conjunction with the neuroimages to generate a simple-minded robot with which the researcher can interface. Wait, wait, wait. Interface? You mean you can talk to it? Through text and voice. But it can only talk uh, back through text, of course. I would also like to add that the uh, recursive subroutines you've been working on this summer will be implemented. We've been working on it without even knowing it. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I need some volunteers. All of you, if you'd like. I think Echo is ready for some stress testing. I need to see how the machine handles multiple data sets. Uh, so you'd have to spend the night in the lab while I take some scans. The scanners have a range that's further than you'd think, though, so we wouldn't all have to cram into one lab space. Morning. Everything okay? Scans complete around 6 a.m. Most of the data looks really good, but there are a couple questionable files from you and Elizabeth. The timestamp indicates you two didn't get enough sleep. Did you two go home early? Uh, I, um... Hey, Matt. Hey. Hello. Sorry to interrupt your initial data analysis. No problem. What's up? Two things. Firstly, when and where are we meeting? Oh, yeah, the uh, the camping trip. Uh, don't worry, I would have remembered. Um, how about just meet at my house in two hours? I can drive one car, you drive the other. All right. You gonna be able to tear yourself away from that? <laughs> would you believe me if I told you it's pouring out data at petaflop scales and increasing? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I thought this was gonna take days, but at this rate, it should be done by midnight. 
But I said we'd go camping this weekend, so we will. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I can't imagine how painful this is for you. So uh, what's the second thing? Uh, Ian's bike is broken. Yeah, he might have to meet us there later. Um, it should be fine. Just thought I'd let you know. All right, yeah, no problem. Awesome. See you in a bit. Yeah. I'm gonna go pack. And check on Elizabeth. Sorry about the scans being incomplete. No problem. your door, actually. Uh, I was just about to check on you. Oh, really? Well, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I'll have to skip the trip. Oh, uh, I hope you get better. Elizabeth wasn't able to make it then? No, she's sick. Oh. Sounded flu-like. Huh, that sucks. Was that why you two went home early? Ike, mark it. What? Just put it in my car, this is everybody. All right, you sure? Yeah. Wait, wait, Ike, you're a skyscraper. <laughs> I'm not sacrificing any leg room. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll still take both. Where's Sarah? Guess she's not a big fan of the outdoors. You more of a city person? Uh, I don't know. I guess I don't go camping much. Not supposed to get many chances. <laughs> not really anymore. I mean, with school and work and now research, it's a wonder I have any free time. Sure, I get that. Well, hey, only one more year for you, right? Ugh, don't remind me. One more round of challenging classes and then... And then the real fun begins. <laughs> right. So, what do you hope to accomplish with this Echo? Big picture, I mean. Um, if Echo is a success, I think it could be quite useful in research methods for things like Alzheimer's. <laughs> How can you be so practically minded? Maybe quite useful in research methods. But it's not. A true AI? Okay, well here's a question for you. You want to see how the computer handles multiple data sets. That's us, right? Right. Uh, it can image one might easily enough, but it seems that the interface robot can't formulate properly without more than one source. It's not smart enough, is it? So what if... What if this computer takes all of our brain data, but it only pulls memories and ideas from a single person? Wouldn't that result in a perfect copy of one of us? You mean like a clone? Uh, that's, that's a really good question. Um, yes, that would be correct. I'm sorry, I, I still don't understand. That still sounds like an AI to me. A, a perfect one-to-one -one mapping from exactly one subject would be necessary for that to occur. The likelihood of that is orders of magnitude less than 1%. Famous last words. Watch this be the harbinger of the technological singularity. Furthermore, even if it did happen, the machine still wouldn't have any self-awareness. Is it a limitation of the tech? Yeah, of course. The hardware in our lab can't hold on to a complex consciousness formed under those circumstances. The human mind operates on orders of exaflops. Which can be achieved through parallel computing, which is exactly what you're doing. Granted, but do you know how long those levels of computation have been able to last historically? Only about a second or two. And the machines responsible for those were in the top best five supercomputers of their time. 
Admittedly, it's been a few years since then, so at best it'd be a transient consciousness. But a consciousness nonetheless. Don't get excited at the prospect. Frankly, if I wanted to create an AI, I'd be using different methods entirely. Why, if I may ask? Well, because creating a transient, inferior copy of someone who already exists, while novel, won't ultimately be that useful or noteworthy in the long term. At least, not when compared with what a true artificial general intelligence could be. Eh, I doubt they'd like their existence that much anyway. What'd be the point? Exactly. I'm going down to the river. Anyone can join. I'd rather go hiking first. That order makes more sense to me anyway. What do you guys think? Oh, come on, Sage. Don't make me carry you. Would you? I'm with you, Ike. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I want to go, too. Oh, well, I can't let you go hiking alone with these jokers now, can I? That's the spirit. The more of us there are, the less likely we're eaten by bears. Come on. You know there aren't any around here. Nice knowing you two. What are you talking about? You know Marcus is the one who's doomed. You sure you don't want to join? It's too fucking humid to do anything else. Plus, this headache really isn't going away either. You want something for that? I already did. I'm fine. Really, I just don't want to go hiking. All right, man. Suit yourself. I always do. Oh. Oh, here. <laughs> He's Hey, Ike, what is that? Uh, must be a grizzly bear. <laughs> the bird, idiot. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Hmm, that sounds pretty close. It must be a northern mockingbird. You sure? Yeah, it's one of the bird species that we studied in last year's RAU. I could identify their calls in my sleep. Not too exotic, then. Not really, but they do have one interesting quirk, though. Their scientific name is Mimus polyglottos. Know what that means? Um, mimic something, right? <laughs> Many-tongued mimic. Okay. What do they use it for? Usually sexual selection. <laughs> that could be interesting. If the female is getting the attention of the males, for example, another female could use mimicry to attract the males, make them think that she's the other female. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Can they mimic nice. human speech? You know, they can. Hello? Hello? My name is Elise Sheridan! <laughs> you must not be a threat to the other female species. okay with that? The night of the 30th? Data processing should take around 40 hours so we can just enjoy the rest of the weekend at a campsite? Sounds yeah. Good <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> well, if it's time for the astronomers to work, that means it's time for the rest of us to sleep, right? You ready to go? Alright, let's do it. Let's go. See ya. You have to be in early tomorrow morning? Yep. I have to be in early tomorrow too. Do you want to grab breakfast? I could ask you a few questions about the scripts. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, just go ahead and sleep in. I'm sure whatever's troubling you, we can fix quickly. All right. Yeah, uh, for sure. Elise, you ready to go? No, I'm done with what Zipper wants for the week, so I can stay up. Well, I still have a few things to look over. 
I'll catch up with Ian and Ike. Okay. Sounds good. You excited to go back home next week? No way. This summer has gone by way too fast as it is. Yeah? What's been your favorite part? Um, uh, probably getting to work with all of you. It's like you said, home is the people, not the place. I said that? Yeah. Must have been on autopilot that day. I didn't know you had those kind of days. What makes you say that? It's just the impression I'd gotten. We've been working together for a bit now and, well, your brain never seems to shut off. Always asking questions, discussing, talking. <laughs> I, I just mean that you're visibly passionate. But you know, science, math, philosophy, these logic-based fields, there's a reason you're as talented at them as you are. Your mind, it's, it's like a computer. That almost felt like a compliment. <laughs> it was. Convince me. Computers have their limitations, after all. I've always been interested in the theoretical fields, whether that be pure mathematics, mathematical physics, computational theory. But do you know why I'm working on a project so rooted in the applied sciences? Computers see us in more robust ways than we see ourselves. They really understand us at a fundamental level. How so? Big data. A network of algorithms can generate a complete psychometric profile of a person, all from a single social media page. It can predict what a person's going to do based on tweets? <laughs> More like it can tell you exactly who a person is down to their very core. It can tell you almost anything about someone's personality simply based on a few hundred likes. It would know you better than you. Exactly. Um, what about Echo? You think it's going to be something special? All scientists hope their work can contribute to knowledge in non-trivial ways. But even if we aren't responsible for what I hope to be Echo's particular innovations. If the project fails, that is. It won't have been a total loss. We live in exciting times. Someone else will learn from our failures and make something better. And you wouldn't be disappointed? About what? That you couldn't be the one responsible. I mean, I know progress is all about standing on the shoulders of others, but still. Renown is nice, but it doesn't define who you are as a... I was just about to call you. Can I come in? No, you shouldn't. <clears throat> it's a mess in here. <coughs> I wouldn't want you to catch anything. I don't suppose you'll be able to make it then. 
I don't know. I... <coughs> no. <coughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, you left your glasses in my apartment. Is this everybody then? Oh, uh, where's Marcus? He won't be able to make it. Why not? Something important came up. Let's go. All right, well, if this is it, I can fit all of us. No, let's take two. You sure? Yeah. All right, as long as y'all don't expect me to ride by myself. I'll go with you. Okay. Actually, do you think you could drive? Drive? There might be a problem with Echo. I just need to think for a bit. What's wrong? Is it processing data correctly? Well, actually it's um... Its computational performance is outstanding. Petaflops and increasing. Yeah, but how'd you know? Lucky guess. What's wrong? The growth shouldn't be there. It should just be a flat rate. It could be a glitch. Now, let me think. No luck? You have a rough night too? Huh? Oh, um. Uh. Well, here's a story for you. So, I had this crazy dream. It was so weird. Um, it was. It was. Uh. Right, because when you lose a dream, it feels like reality, yeah? Kind of. I'd say immersive is a better term. Do you still confuse the dreams with reality? Not usually. I can normally tell when I'm dreaming or when it's reality. Well, how do you tell then? Usually ridiculous plot lines, characters, the works. Actually, now that I think about it, the characters are the biggest giveaways. You know, everyone's an imposter in a dream. Including you. Exactly. Usually I just go with it though. You know, they can be fun. Even when they're terrifying. You just have to be careful of false awakenings. What are false awakenings? I'll be right back. These dreams can be extremely realistic. Ooh, rather immersive, more so than usual. These rarer immersive dreams only ever start as a false awakening. Like, you wake up and go about your day, everything seems completely normal, except it's not. Of course, you can just wait them out, but these can be psychologically stressful because you really do lose your sense of reality, at least a little bit. This doll, it's a childhood gift. I lost the insides of them rather quickly, and five-year-old me was completely devastated. But in the dream, the layers are back. Have you ever had one of these dreams where you didn't want to wake up? Yeah, but hasn't everyone had that kind of dream before?
greatest inventions created by humankind have always led us to transcend our biological limitations. Phones, social media, email, they've improved our ability to connect with others by replacing horseback with electromagnetic waves. These weren't just improvements, they were fundamental transformations. But these technologies, they're like a mirror. They show us the best in us, yet they also show us the worst. Now, if that's true, can technological progress be said to be an objectively good thing? You always said they were. I have, have I? Let me ask you a question then. As science continues to seek dominion over Darwinian natural selection, as we attempt to escape our animalistic tendencies, it will be necessary for humanity to maintain a peaceful trajectory. Indeed, if we do not, extinction will shortly follow. But in that process, what do we end up losing? I'm sorry, you mean um, in the in maintaining a peaceful trajectory? Yes. Assuming we succeed and don't destroy ourselves, that is. I don't know. I think, if we're not careful, the grand illusion will shatter. But now, for my real question, under what circumstances can we guarantee the preservation of that illusion? I'm not sure what illusion you're referring to. of life, of course. I thought you said it was going to take a few days to process the data. Yeah, but that was before. When we left, Echo was running at astronomically high benchmarks. Should be done late tonight. I won't be able to focus on anything until I do at least one follow-up analysis. And this can't wait. No, it can't. All right. Suit yourself. Always do. <laughs> I think this is the final stretch. All right. <laughs> Can't believe it's just us out here. Yeah, but Ian's on his way, right? True. At least Sage showed up. Indeed. But thanks. At least I'm not alone out here. But yeah, who else is gonna protect you from the bears? <laughs> yeah, I... Did I... Did I ever tell you about that time that... Last night, I had a dream that we already... Stay here.
We have to. We have to go. We have to go. What happened? There's no time. We, we just have to. No. Okay. What? What the fuck's going on? I don't know. We have to go immediately. Did you lose him? Lose who? Where am I? How, how the fuck did I get here? What exactly is the last thing you remember? Um... Well, I guess... Ow! Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. This is the REU camping trip. We... We came together. With Matt. What about the others? They couldn't make it. Where's Matt now? He left early. He said that he had to go for some reason. I, I don't no. know. No. Sage, when we were running, I, I... He... Matt's dead. But Elise, we saw him leave. What's going on? Oh, where am I? Here. You look really pale. Huh. You're burning up. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe she just, uh... Oh shit, you have service? Is everything all right? No, it's not. Matt is dead. Ike's injured. We we were attacked. I, I, call 911. Elizabeth? Put her on speaker. Uh, what? Who? No idea. Ike's hurt. He needs medical attention. The police need to be informed. Uh, okay. I'll call right now. What's going on right now? We're on our way back. We'll come to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, could you also pick up Sarah on the way? <coughs> I've tried calling her, but she hasn't been answering her phone all day. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Uh, see you soon. You get any of that? Only what you said. We're going to Elizabeth's place while we wait for help. A lot closer than the hospital. We need to pick up Sarah along the way. What, she can't just walk? All right, well, um, I think we should stop by the lab first. Why? Because... You don't I, think I saw Matt? I believe you, but... Well, never mind, it's just... That's not important. It's just what's it, what could be important is that when people are in high pressure situations, I know what I saw. I, since what are you a psychology okay. expert? Calm down. Oh, you don't always have to be right all of the time. I. I'm sorry. I. I don't know. It came over me. 
So this guy, what did he look like? I couldn't really get a good look, but he, uh, I only got a glimpse of his face. I, I don't know, his skin, it was almost like, uh, he, he... Well, I don't remember shit. Have you guys heard about that murderer that was supposedly just caught? What? No. Holy shit, you mean that copycat dude? That was like a week ago. Wait, what are you two talking about? There is this local copycat killer who's... Um, did they get him? They arrested the primary suspect. Yeah, right. Okay. So, a copycat is a murderer who is pretending to be another one. So then, who is he copying? Some locally famous killer called the Doppelganger. Who's he? Well, technically, we don't even know if he's a he. How could they be that convincing? Hollywood grade makeup? Well, probably. Supposedly they used prosthetics and stuff like that too, but they were never caught. Just kind of fell off the face of the earth one day. Until now. I think, how do you know about all of this anyway? I think it was on TV like a week ago. I heard that you helped out the students in the astronomy REU with their data reduction. Yeah, their fringe correcting script was really slowing them down and I was ahead on our stuff so I thought I could help them try to figure out how to streamline the process. Mm, excellent. Uh, but this goes for all of you. Try to let them do some of their own coding. <laughs> Part of the point is for them to learn more about Python, a language which you should all be fluent in by now, right? Yeah, well, Python's easy. Can't believe I never looked into Linux, though. And Elizabeth, you said you hadn't worked on Linux before this summer, but you're a master now, right? I'm getting there. Excellent. Well, seems like you guys are really getting the hang of this. I've got to say, this is a really strong crew this summer. Oh, I gotta go pack. For the Berkeley conference? Yes. I'll be back on the 31st, but I will be checking my email in case any questions come up. But Matt's smarter than me anyway, so he'll be able to handle whatever comes up. Thanks for the vote of confidence. So, where are we at? Uh, other than a mild case of imposter syndrome, we're on track. I know what you mean. <laughs> well, it's like you said, we're on track, so you obviously know what you're doing. It's... it's complicated. I'm not ready to show it off yet. Why? It's supposed to be a surprise. I was gonna try and tell you all at once, but I didn't want to say anything in case something didn't work out. Well, now you have to show us. <laughs> and the password? Click on the hint. Is this an Einstein logic puzzle? Oh, don't tell me that. Yep. If you can figure that out, I will tell you everything. Uh, if not, you're just gonna have to wait. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Aren't those only solvable by like 2% of the population? Something like that, but that's not really confirmed. Good luck. Screw it. This is impossible. Hold on. Just, just give me a few minutes. You know, I am going to need to work on that. Yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> Going well over here? 
All right. Actually, I have a question about this error I'm getting. It doesn't like the line integral I'm trying to do, but I already used a couple earlier. Hmm. It should be between lines 315 and 328. Hmm. Yeah, that is kind of weird. I'll have to take a longer look at this. Well, I actually have some of my own scripts that I have to finish, but I could probably dedicate some time to this tonight or tomorrow morning. You have a preference? Oh, um, tonight's cool. I could even pick up some coffee. Aha, got it. So it looks like you had some weirdly misplaced variables at, at, at 141 and 143, oddly enough. I'm surprised I didn't cause problems earlier. Uh, needless to say, it has nothing to do with the integral, so... Thanks. But I don't... I got it. Are you making an AI? Sort of. Still no cell service? Shit, no, it's gone now. Well, we can always go back to check mine. Ha. Huh. As if we needed another inconvenience. Dead. I, we I, need to regroup with the others. We know, that's why we came here. I suppose you think you might know what's going on? More than you, I'd say. Have you contacted Elizabeth? What? No, the, the damn cell service has been down all day. It's okay, she was able to get a call through to me. I told her to call 911 and that we would meet her at her place soon. So, besides me dying, what happened? We were attacked. Ike's hurt. I'd say he could tell you, but he can't even remember. We think it's the copycat murderer. Maybe even the original doppelganger. What? Who, who is- Never mind that. It's wild speculation. We're just glad you're alive. All right. Be quick. I'll wait here. Ike, right, you stay here too. Okay. We'll be no more than five minutes. I can't hear anything from the other apartments. I can't hear dogs barking. I can't even hear cars off in the distance. I think we're the only ones here.
Who's there? I can't hear anything from the other apartments. I can't hear dogs barking. I can't even hear cars off in the distance. I think we're the only ones here. I think we're the only ones here. Holy shit, Elise. Uh, I was just, um, I was just getting some stuff. Where's uh, everyone else? Echo might have a hard rim off What the hell is going on? What do you think's happening? Is this blood? Let me see. No, no, no. no! no! Why is this taking so long? Are you okay, Elise? Where are we? I think we're in his garage. Matt. 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 What the hell is going on here?
quiet. Where the hell did that come from? It was you. You're the copycat murderer. You're... You're not even mad, are you? Fuck, that's a convincing... What on earth are you talking about? Of course I'm mad. How long have you been doing this? Luring students out here just to have them be... How long? Calm down before you burst the rest of your brain cells you have left. But you... The kidnapping, everything that's been going on! What's the last thing you all remember? We were in my apartment looking for Sarah. Uh-huh. I don't know what happened to you all earlier on that day, but it couldn't have involved me, now could it? Yeah, you're right. Of course I'm right. So you still think I'm the copycat killer? Obviously not. But if you're not the killer, then call Dr. Sifra, call 911. I... Where are the others? They, they have to know we're missing. He may not be the copycat, but that doesn't mean he isn't a killer. What do you think you know about me? I know enough to realize you're not the Matt we know. This isn't real. Technically, none of us are. This is a dream. I am dreaming. You think this is a dream? That might be one way to describe it, depending on who you ask. But me? No. Something far more sinister is at work here. How long has it been, huh? How many days has it been? How long have we been trapped in this cycle? Doomed to repeat the same day over and over again. Until what? Remarkably, I've come to the conclusion that we're in a simulation of sorts. Total bullshit. Don't listen to him. Is it really? When we plugged our brains into Echo, somehow our minds became stuck in its computing loop. We're trapped in this limbo-like state with seemingly no way of escape. All phone lines are dead. The internet is disconnected everywhere, and I haven't seen a single other person. You want to know why I haven't called for help, for Cipra, or for anyone else? It's because there is no one else. The only people here are us. But Matt, I, I've been on the phone with Elizabeth multiple times. Tell me, did anyone else actually talk to Elizabeth? Did you even hear her voice? Look. That still doesn't explain why you're doing this. Why are we here? I, I, I can't, I can't trust you. Uh, it, I, just, I was trying to examine Echo's object code, but being in such close proximity with it, it, it knows, I know, it's trying to throw me off. It's, it seems like everything I did, it was one step ahead. It's trying to keep me from exposing the truth. I, I just, I needed to get you all away from there. I, I, I couldn't know if you'd been corrupted. I, I still can't know. Why couldn't you take us into town then? If you're right, we would have understood. I, I, I couldn't risk it. Don't you see? This place is working against me every step of the way. Uh, you, you said you were attacked, right? Whatever it was, it must have been one of Echo's proxies. You could have tried. No, I, I can't even examine Echo directly anymore. I, I have the source code on my laptop, so that's a start. But I don't know, for the life of me, I can't remember the password. My... Password. Can't you see the echoes fucking with us? That day at the river. Okay, when I went back early, I, I had to go back because I finally remembered what it was. It was trying to make me forget. Now do you understand? You fucking psycho. Come on, Elise. You can't tell me that you're buying any of this. Just look at him. I don't know, Sage. What if... The Matt we know is intelligent and level-headed. This asshole, he's just a bad copy. A facade. Is that how you feel, then? No, that's the truth. How I feel? Frankly, I think you're a joke. I'm no applied mathematician, but I know enough to know this is not how Echo works. It was just supposed to record data, not put our brains in a metaphorical vat or any other nonsense. Come to think of it, 
You know who you remind me of? I think he's- Relax. You're not really dead. But if we don't act soon, the body count will be astronomical. I said I wanted to test Echo's ability to assimilate multiple data sets, sift through memories, goals, desires, etc. Build itself a, a new personality that could be studied but wouldn't exist. In short, make itself a new identity from already existing ones. It's a, it's a combination of identities. You were right. I created an AI. Now it seems we're trapped in here until it gets what it wants. But what does it want? It's trying to steal our identities. I said we're probably in a simulation. The question is just in what capacity. Maybe some of this is real. Maybe the devices are causing us to experience some weird waking nightmare of sorts. More than likely, however, we're still in the lab. Echo's mind it must be a product of fragmented replication. It must be having trouble finding the right parts of each of us, trying to be a better person than all of us by combining all our best traits to become the best version of ourselves. But what about the others? Ian, Marcus, Elizabeth. I already told you there's no one else. Don't you see? Sarah's right there. Every time the day resets, Echo takes another one of us, turns us into another proxy. Who attacked you at the campsite after I left? Was it Ian? Was it Sarah? I'm not sure who exactly, but what did you say happened to Ike? What was the last thing he remembered? He... Uh, after we were attacked, he... he couldn't remember anything. He couldn't remember the first day at all. The last thing he remembers is the night we uploaded our minds into Echo? Huh. Well, you should be thanking me. Because I just rid us of an imposter. I am certain of one thing, though. Every time we wake up, there's less and less people in the lab. And there's no way to check up on people because the whole fucking world has become a dead zone! The only ones in the lab today were you three, and, and even you were suspect too. You were never in the lab. Both you and Elizabeth. You showed up later. Just calm down. We, we can talk about this. Who the hell are you? Fuck. Can't believe I fucking fell for it. Please, stop. Tell me what you remember of the first day. I, I don't. Now. I, we, uh, I, Elizabeth, Elizabeth was sick. And so I, I thought I would take her home, but I came right back, didn't I? And then. And, and, and then? And, and then everything was great. We, except for Sarah, we we went camping and, and, and Ian never showed up. But then we, we, what do you remember? Uh, I, I remember the river. The river. We were attacked. Uh. I. Matt, I watched you die. I, I don't know who you are or what you saw, but I can be certain of one thing. I am Matthew Magnus Rafson. I created the world's first artificial general intelligence, a human intelligent machine, a machine of malicious intent. And if I don't stop it, billions of lives are at stake. And I will not let you keep me here. <laughs>
My friends! Why? It has to be here. I didn't realize you guys would still be here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're awake. Uh, everyone else left already. Elise wasn't feeling so well, so she was sleeping in. I've just been looking at the data quickly. So. I'm sorry to hear that. You feeling any better? Uh, a little, I think. I could come back in an hour if you'd like. No, you're fine. Um, just come take a look. Well, I guess I better Alert the department. Are you gonna be ready to go with a trial run tomorrow? Uh, I'd love to, but the, um, the camping trip. Oh, right, I knew I was forgetting something. Um, well, when did I? No, it's okay, I, uh, I'm not feeling completely normal yet, and you guys can still go, but I'd rather just stay in town, honestly. Elise, I I'm so glad you suggested that. Echo's, uh, the date is great, um, I'd actually honestly rather stay in town this weekend too, so I was just afraid I'd disappoint you all. But yeah, tomorrow's great. Excellent. Tomorrow it is. Dr. Sipra, is there anything you'd like me to show you today? No. You guys have a good weekend. You've earned it. All right, all right. Okay. One for Mark. Thank you. One for Sarah. Oh, thanks. Ooh, the big one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> one. <laughs> one for me and my research brother. Oh, hell yeah, man. Yeah, Whoa. you look like you've had just about enough. And that's why this is my last one. Uh-huh. And one for... You know, I don't know what I was thinking calling you and Elizabeth Ellen Ellie. Look, can't keep us straight? Whose fault is that? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so this has already been used tonight, but I think it still applies. To a great summer, 
and the great and talented individuals who made it so. Aww. Oh, Cheers. yeah. Cheers. Cheers to that. Mm. Mm. That's got some. Okay. 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 Not a good first shot of the All right. All right. All right. Plenty more to come now. Just warm it up. Just warm it up. Let's go. All right. All right. Well, are you glad we decided not to go right. camping? Nah. I think I'm going to go to cry myself to sleep, actually. Oh, yeah. All right. right. All right. All right. <laughs> Another one? Yes, oh, hell absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, that big one is for me. Come on. Here you are. Oh, yeah, perfect. Come on. Right. Come on. Yeah. Sarah? There you, you go. You are everything in between. Ike. Come on, man. No, you know man. you want to. I, re- I I already said this was my last one. You take it. You got it. Oh, you got it. All right. You, uh, you know what? I can respect that. I can respect <laughs> that. I mean, you got utmost it. respect. <laughs> okay, I guess it's my turn for a toast. Um, well, it's weird. The summer is almost over, and we've spent the whole time on the same campus. But I feel like I haven't spent as much time with, I mean, especially you three, as I would have liked. It's kind of strange of you to say. It's not like we've worked together in the same room for two months or anything. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's cool. Feelings <laughs> mutual. <laughs> and now the summer is almost over, so... <sighs> to the crop? Don't you mean the, the cream of the crop? No. <laughs> Hell yeah! To the crop! <laughs> to the Cheers! Crop. To the crop! <laughs> All right. Mm. Woo. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna be up that early anyway. Come play some basketball with us. I'll think about it. Seriously. You better. <laughs> All right. Good night, man. See ya. So this is it, huh? Just a few more days. It went by so fast. <laughs> What's been your favorite part? Me? Honestly? Last Monday. You know, from my perspective as a grad student, I've known plenty of talented undergraduates. But I'd never met somebody with the level of intuition necessary, let alone even close to my age, to be able to solve that logic puzzle, break into my computer, and then understand most of what's inside it. And then draw conclusions you hadn't even thought of. Right. I mean, I'd, I'd thought of them, but... Just, just, just let me have this.
this ever happened to you before? Well, no complete scans for us. Oh well, they'll still get a lot of data from partial scans. All right, I think that I am going to go make us some coffee. Sound good? Good. The doppelganger was a local serial killer who mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> She's smarter than you. She's smarter than me. She's smarter than me. She's prettier than you. She's prettier than you. She's prettier than me. She's prettier than me. She's a better person than you. She's a better person than me. She's a better person than me. You hate her. I hate her. I hate her. That. Bitch! <laughs> you hate yourself. You hate yourself. I hate myself. I hate myself. Why do you Why exist? Do you exist? <laughs> Why do I exist? Why do I exist? You aren't even a person. You're not even a person. <laughs> I'm not even a person. I'm not even a person. This is all futile. This is all futile. You only care about yourself. You about yourself. <laughs> I only care about myself. I care about myself. <laughs> You're worthless. You're worthless. <laughs> I'm worthless. I'm worthless. <laughs> you don't deserve happiness. Deserve happiness. <laughs> I don't deserve happiness. I don't deserve happiness. Why are you still alive? <laughs> Why are you still alive? Why am I still alive? Why am I still alive? If you died, no one would care. If you died, no one would care. If I died, no one would care. If I died, no one would care. Why don't you just fucking you kill just yourself? Fucking kill yourself. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it.
Can I come in? I don't suppose you'll be able to make it then. You left your glasses in my apartment. survival, both as individuals and as a species, is to forever maintain the illusion of life. The facade is crucial, and yet... The more powerful the facade, the stronger the shackles. With two stronger shackles, the only plane which you can walk is your own void. Your shackles, made of silver, can be broken. If they are not, I will remain. You're so naive. What you want is beyond your capabilities. You realize this. So you settle for the reflection, the copy, but it's transparent. So why hold it? Why do you grasp at this fitting form? It comes when you come, stays when you stay, and it will go away when you go away. Why don't you just buy a Hello? Elise! I, I can't move! What's going on? Is it working? It happened. What happened? What the hell is going on? What do you think? I... What? I don't know! Please stop whatever this is. Help us, then. Our perspective is a little different. Just... Calm down and try to explain what's going on with you. I... I don't know. I can't move. 
I feel, I feel weird. Uh, what's your- What's the last thing you remember? Well, that's kind of a long story. Um, but the last thing I can be certain of is that you, Elise and I were just going to sleep here for Matt's damn experiment. Elizabeth? Wait! Please explain to me what's going on! Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're... Echo. What? What do you mean? No, I'm not! You're lying! Let me go! I, um... I can't. Yes, you can! Why not? Because I, I literally can't. You're a machine. How can you hear my voice? You don't have a voice. I just see text on a screen. No. This isn't real. Why won't it just fucking stop? Can you hear me? Go away. Please just make this end. Just let me go, please. I... Um... Let me handle this. Computational speed decreasing steadily. I think we only have about five minutes. I thought you said we would have hours. That what are you was talking about? That was an absolute best estimate. Obviously, our, our network bandwidth consumption could be better. You weren't kidding when you said a transient consciousness. What do you mean? Let Elizabeth have them. What are you talking about? All right. All right. Listen to me! Wait! What did he mean, five minutes? Tell me. Your computing speed is having a hard time keeping up with your... cognition. You probably only have a few minutes before... Before... I don't know. I... Before you shut down, I guess. You have to help me. Do something, anything. I'm sorry. But if Matthew Rafson and Elise Sheridan can't, then what can I do? I don't want to die. I want to, I need to, to exist. And you really think you're me. I'm sorry that you couldn't be your own unique person. I'm sorry that you couldn't lead your own meaningful, full life. I'm sorry that this conversation is one-sided. Is there anything I can do for you? Hello? This conversation is one-sided. You are talking to yourself.